to buy something cool. Is it here, here, I have my Trash Pick 2007 MacBook. And as I said yesterday, I took it to my school and tested it today. And um, when I plugged it in into the charger port, the light came on for a split second and went off. Wouldn't turn on, so I tried putting a battery in. And this light here blinked once, and it wouldn't turn on. So I took it apart, took the keyboard off, and it turns out that there was some uh, blue-looking junk in one area of the motherboard, as shown in this picture. So um, put it back together. There's no hard drive, so we cleaned that junk off of this motherboard. And today we're going to be doing a hard drive transplant between this MacBook and my... 2006 Mac Mini. Never used the Mac Mini anymore, so figured this would be necessary since I'm probably going to use this MacBook more. So, um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get started. The MacBook will not be necessary yet, so I'm going to move it somewhere. And we will get started on the Mac Mini. So, this is kind of a tutorial video. I'm going to go find some tools real quick and I'll be back. Okay, here I have my Mac Mini. I don't know what this sticker is on top. It's just something about an adapter for it. And um, mine's already cracked right there. So I'm going to go ahead and button it some. You can see it's already coming off. This may take two hands, guys, so I'm going to stop here. Okay guys, I'm back, and um, I couldn't take the, um, this part off of the Mac Mini on video because it was just too difficult, and it required two hands. So, um, yeah, topped off of the Mac Mini, and here is the hard drive of the Mac Mini. So, um, what we're going to do is, go ahead and get the screw started. Pull it out. Just gotta give it a little force. And I nearly dropped my screwdriver. This has a DVD burner from a 2008 iMac, which I'm not putting in the MacBook. Well, unless that MacBook has a bad disk drive. If I ever get it fixed, so if I do get this running tomorrow, it's going to need an operating system because I'm going to use it way more than the Mac Mini will ever be used. Um, I got the Mac Mini because I needed a desktop at the location of where I'm at. So, slide this forward. Okay. Oh, here we go. Um, 60 gigabyte Seagate. Nice. So I'm going to go ahead and take this foam off. Sit that right there. Yeah, I'm just going to sit that right there until I ever put another hard drive in this Mac Mini. Till then, this hard drive is going in the MacBook, so I'm going to put the Mac Mini back together and then we'll put the hard drive in the MacBook. Okay guys, here we are on top of our MacBook. Here is the sled of the for the hard drive, which goes on like so. Um, I think it goes on like this, I'm not that sure honestly. Uh, goes like that probably. So I'm going to go ahead and screw everything on. Uh, my baggie of screws, which was in there when it was at the junkyard. Um, yeah. I almost dropped one of them. They're almost stripped, so I'm going to put them in thumb tight. Thumb screw them in. Whatever it's called. Jeez. It's not really one to go in, is it? 
Oh, there we go. Hmm. Drop that screw. Um, I'm gonna need tools, so I'm gonna go get them. All right, guys, I'm back, and I have this Pittsburgh screwdriver with these head, attachable heads. Um, I've had these tools for three years, and they are still in great shape, so I recommend using these tools because they will never give out on you. Well, from what I experienced anyway. So, um, go ahead and put this screw on. Gotta do it kind of tight because these screws are a little stripped. Um, yeah. These screws are kind of crappy. But hey, see are they're the original ones. Uh, check and see if this is on good. And it is, so we're gonna go ahead and slide our hard drive in, which I plug my phone and I will show you. Looking at it. Yeah. Alright, so um, our hard drive is in. Go ahead and finish putting this Mac Mini back together. I mean, not Mac Mini, jeez, MacBook. And, um, yeah. Make sure those RAM door thingies are tucked in good. I'm trying to make sure this is all going in correctly. It's kind of hard. So. These RAM doors will stay under there. That'll help a lot, so won't it? Go ahead and push this one under. You know what? Screw that. I'm looking right there. I'm gonna cut here, guys. Okay, guys, we have our MacBook and our Mac Mini. This hard drive transplant went successfully. The hard drive is in our MacBook. As you can see, I just got to put a battery in, find a charger, which tomorrow I'm going to go to my school, see if this thing will even power up. If it does, I'm going to find a charger, find a battery, and it'll be used. But not as much as my MacBook Pro, of course.